Hey folks, today I am here with a fascinating topic that not many would tell you. Many of us dream of buying a house. The thought of buying a house is very exciting. In this excitement, many of us tend to make a lot of mistakes. I regretted it a lot after making these mistakes. So in this video, I am sharing some of those costly mistakes to avoid in the excitement of buying a dream house. So stay tuned until the end. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I welcome you to my channel today. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post a new video. By the way, Brick Experts is the newest initiative from our team to provide valuable information on the projects developed by the top developers in the city. I had put my thoughts on such projects like the price notes, review, comparison and much more. So visit brickexperts.in and check it out today. Now without further ado, let's begin with our show. Being unclear about what you want and what you need is the first mistake that everyone makes. I agree that nobody is perfect. We all have dilemmas in life, but confusion in major decisions of life is not worth it. Always be clear of your needs, like the number of bedrooms, the locality, the floor, etc. Make a list separately between your wants and the needs. Prioritize your needs and then start searching for the house. Looking for a house before knowing your budget is one mistake that every one of us makes. So before chasing properties, check your credit score and clear your balance debts. Get all your papers ready and get the pre-approval from the bank. Once you know your budget and then start pursuing your dream house. Money talks in all aspects of your life. Do you agree? Knowing your budget before looking for a house is always a smart move. Look. Do it yourself or in a trend these days, I agree. Never go for a home search on your own. It's better to take professional's advice. Real estate agents will have access to multiple listings of properties that can broaden your search. Professionals can help you stay within your budget, fix appointments with sellers, negotiate your best deal and guide you through the documents. Always find a professional whom you trust and have a positive experience. Are you a newbie buying a house? If yes, don't rush in after going through a couple of properties. It's a human trait that if we are looking for something in excitement, we settle for the first one. It feels like it is just custom made for you. I have made this mistake. We often fear that a home will get snapped up by someone else if they don't put in an offer immediately. I am saying this in my own experience. So before finalizing the house, look for at least a minimum of five houses. Falling in love with the property very soon is not a great idea anytime. The locality is just like a second home. We breathe and live there. It is not a good idea to decide just by looking at the house. Do some enough research about the locality and the neighborhood. If you have kids, check for the schools and the daycare and never forget to look for the clinics and hospitals near your house. Never know when the emergency strikes, right? And find out what is available in the locality like playgrounds, nearby uh, bus stops, metro stations, traffic search, shopping space and pharmacy. Don't jump to the conclusion only by looking at the house, the architecture and the number of bedrooms and bathrooms etc. Not bothering about the locality can be one of the costliest mistakes many of them do. So have this in mind. It is one of the costliest mistakes that many of us make when we plan to buy a house. Before approaching for a loan, make sure you have the maximum amount for the down payment. Many of us settle for fewer down payments. The higher down payments means less interest. By paying more down payment, you can significantly reduce your total paid amount for the house. Make sure to have at least 20% of the down payment amount ready before looking for a house. Closing cost is nothing but the registration amount, agreement fees and expert incentives. I have seen many of us will not have enough bank balances by the time of the registration. While calculating the budget, never underestimate the closing cost. Make sure to keep some amount untouched for covering the closing costs such as the lawyer fees and other expenses. It is very irresistible to buy a house as soon as your savings could support the purchase but wait a little longer. Don't spend all your savings on just the house. Buying a house usually comes with additional expenses. You may also need to pay for repairs, closing costs and improvements once the home is yours. Hurrying to refurbish and renovating the house would be another costliest mistake some people make. Once you buy a house, chances are you will have to make a few design changes to make your home just right for you. Making some small change is fine, but don't go over the board. Don't rush to renovate the house. Live in the space for a few months. If you still feel the need to change the space, then move on with renovating your house. Avoid making this costly mistake if you have just bought a house or if you are planning to buy a house. 
Before making the final payment, make sure to get the house inspected by an engineer. The inspector will check the structure, the mechanical systems and the construction of the house. If you find any faults in the structure or building, make sure the seller fixes them before the final agreement. Many people ignore getting the house inspected by an expert. This mistake can cost you more in the future. So avoid making this mistake while buying a house. So owning a house is a dream for many, but in the process of buying a house, don't make these costly mistakes. Well, I have made some of these mistakes myself. So today I thought of listing some common mistakes most of us do. So let me know in the comment section, which was the mistake you made in the process of buying a house and let me help you try to fix those. See you in my next video.